Kia ora everybody, Chris Bahi here from the Bailey's Insights team sitting down today with Nick Hawken from our rural team to talk about our new dairy market update. So in terms of the update, there's three sort of key themes that stick out. So we've got general confidence across the market, the impact of environmental standards, and I guess a growing diversification of the buyer pool. So in this video, we'll have a quick chat around each of those themes. So Nick, in terms of the first theme, so this general confidence across the market, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, look, the, um, the market has experienced pretty good farm gate milk prices over the last few years, um, and it took a little while, I guess, for that to sort of cement into the marketplace, but in the last couple of years, we've really seen that um, come into play in the, in the real estate market, and it's, we've started to see the confidence really, I guess, reinvigorated um, amongst the buyer pool. And so then, in terms of the impact of environmental standards, um, what are we seeing in that space? Yeah, so the, the environmental um, part of a transaction is a key consideration for, for lots of buyers and ultimately the, you know, everyone's aware that there's pressure coming into the market. I guess the, the benefits are you know, for the dairy um, sector, um, returns have been relatively good so they've, they've been able to I guess get a little bit of a step ahead of the curve to try to help mitigate that. But ultimately um, you know, the pressure is continuing to come on um, the way we use our land and the, the, the runoff and things like that. So when, when people are transacting and looking um, to buy the dairy land at the moment, you know, the, the environmental footprint is a, is a really big key consideration that, that they're all wanting to get their heads around. And so in the report we've obviously got a uh, particularly good pun in terms of the cream rising to the top and uh, the role of top quality environmental audits and, and that type of stuff. Um, how does that fit into a transaction? Yeah, so I guess cream rises to the top and we think of it as a future maintainable production equation. So ultimately what um, can that business or that farming dairy farm um, continue to brood, produce given all the environmental impact uh, that's around it. So what can it do in the future and at what cost and that, that's a massive consideration that buyers uh, are working with their advisors, um, the banks want to understand that as well and so it's really important that, that that's understood and what, what we're seeing I guess it's not necessarily, it, it may, what it does is ultimately it puts those with the, um, the A grade sort of compliance or track record really at the front of the queue when it comes to transactions so ultimately they're in the box seat um, and they're much more control of that sort of process. And so then the final big theme was around the potential for a margin squeeze over the next 12 to 24 months. Um, what can you tell me about that? The, the payout is looking good, um, been, been buoyant for the last few season, uh, seasons and that continues to sort of be the theme. I guess um, the inflation is really starting to take a hold on farm. Um, so that margin squeeze is occurring and I guess what that does is that ultimately um, it's going to shrink that sort of cash yield which is obvious. Um, but I guess the fundamental and behind that, um, which is still remains positive, like, is, is what's occurring in the whole supply chain. So we've got, in one instance, we've got the um, you know improved environmental footprint, and that's great for the whole supply chain. And what that's doing is that we're in this world where we've got um, continued good confidence built on the um, commodity and the yield coming off the assets. But equally, investors are recognising. Um, you know, they're not just investing in just a cash yield, they're also investing in a long term um, land asset which is backed by, um, you know, food and, and high nutritional sort of products. So that's what they're looking for, and I guess that's um, been really important and it continues to be a theme probably over the next 12 months as, as prices hopefully, you know, whether they come back, we'll have to wait and see, but um, at the moment that margin is getting squeezed a little bit, but it's still um, very attractive. Sweet, so thanks very much Nick, that was really cool just to have a bit of a chat around the dairy market and I guess our latest report. If you do want to get a copy of the report, just jump onto baileys.co.nz and you can download a copy of our latest dairy market update. Um, the other thing to mention of course is if you're in the market to pick up a property, check out our country magazine or some of our Rural Insights brochures which cover off some of the properties that are for sale around New Zealand. With that said, we'll wrap it up here, so thanks Nick. Yeah, awesome. Thanks Chris. Sweet, and we'll see you next time.